wanted to go over the ball mill I just made. Not 100% done with it. Still got some details to do, but uh, basically I got it powered off of the uh, batteries and I'm using a 12 volt drill motor. It's a, uh, a DeWalt drill, just like this one. The handle broke on the other one, and uh, so I, I kept it. I knew it was going to come in handy for something. So that feeds this uh, this dowel rod here, or not dowel rod, but uh, all thread, 5 16 all thread. And I've got bearings in here out of uh, roller skate blades. And uh, I'll be applying some fixtures as, uh, as I, as I uh, put this together on the computer. But anyway. So I've got, a, I've got four triangles here that I drilled a 7 8 inch hole in, and then I inserted the, the bearings in there, ran that in there. Um, this is uh, two washers, and in between is, uh, is a rubber washer that I got out of a toilet bolt kit, and that's being used as a, as a gripping wheel. The vessel is a uh, four-inch PVC, and I uh, I made this so you could put six-inch on there as well. You could put a six-inch vessel on there. Um, it, it's it's a little adaptable to, to different things. So here, I've already ran some stuff through it, but what we're going to do for a test is uh, black whole peppercorns. I've already got some poured out here. Pour the peppercorns in there. And we've got some lead shot. This is this lead shot is uh, 50 caliber uh, muzzleloading. There's about 25 of them or so. That's all I got right now. I can add glass marbles. Uh, some uh, I do have some uh, uh, brass. Flare, flare caps I was going to put in there too. But anyway, plastic and lead, it's not going to spark. And uh, so we'll, we'll give it a shot and show you what I've got here. Uh, this switch I had laying around. And uh, here we go. Now, that's on high speed. I can, I can do a couple different things with this. I can run 12 volts or I can run 6 volts and slow it down. I can get basically 4 speeds out of it. Let me show you that as well. So that was high speed on 12 volts. There's low speed on 12 volts. And what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to use this area to incorporate a box uh, for, uh, for controls and switches and stuff. Do a forward and reverse. Okay. That's 6 volts on low speed. And 6 volts on high speed. Got 
some versatility there. But uh, we'll uh, we'll try it out some different different speeds and different materials and see what we've got. See what works the best. I believe that's going to get the job done the fastest. Okay. Okay. The reason I'm building this is for purposes of making uh, black powder. And this is the, you've probably seen this in some of my other videos, this is the uh, uh, gas fighting camp stove I built. But when, uh, when that goes out, it leaves behind some ch some uh, some charred wood, and uh, I don't know what type of wood this is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but basically, um, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the charred wood in there and just let that run for a while. But uh, here's some here's some black powder I made previously, and at my first attempt, um, it burns super super slow, and here's a clip of that. And uh, the reason I found that that was uh, burning slow is because it's it's uh, it's really granulated. It's it's not really powdery. So um, so then that's why I, I'm making this now. I've got a pint of sulfur pellets. I've got potassium nitrate, and uh, you can get this at low as a stump remover. Um, it's about six, seven bucks in a container. And uh, so anyway, that's what I'm going to use this for. And uh, let's just do this. I'm just going to go ahead and take the... Uh, probably do to uh, just throw the, the charred wood in a uh, coffee grinder, which I have, but I just kind of want to test this thing out and throw something in here and see how it works. So. Tighten it down. Now at this point I haven't glued either of these. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if that, if that was the length and the size, and see it may, uh, may, may change it. But the other idea behind this here is uh, they're, they're cut a little extra long. So what I could do is two things. I can, I can put pulleys and run uh, up here and, and run another one of these up here. So I could be doing two at the same time, or I could run it this way and just couple together and, and add it on that direction. Okay, so now it's in there. Let's go ahead and kick it on and see how she runs.
foggy day today. We haven't had much uh, much sun, so running a little low on the batteries. Okay, so I'm gonna do a close up of the uh, ball mill here. This is the uh, drill motor, 12 volt. See if we get a close up of those bearings right there. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but there's the uh, uh, bearings. Which we got out of roller blade, roller blade bearings here, and there's two of them, and a thrust collar inside each one, and. Here, I use the thrust collar so I could get the, the nut outside so I could get a wrench on it. If I, was, if I was thinking, I would only drilled these holes part way, just enough to set the um, bearing into. But anyway, um, there's, there's that. And this is adjustable, like I said, I think uh, uh, by looking at it. If I were to go with a uh, larger vessel, I could add a piece of wood here, bracket of some sort, and I could put the uh, I could put this, you know, up higher here. And then I could have I could I could go 12 inch round if I wanted to, but uh, this was just what I had laying around. So the only thing I bought was this and this. I had everything else laying around. So, there's that. Put the, put the vessel on there. Okay. Put the vessel on there. I think I, uh, I set it up so you can put it... No, I was kind of dummy proof. So I'm just put it on there dummy proof and I didn't know which way it went on. Alright, so so there's that. Okay. Now we'll kick it on. other thing I did because some of this wood was split and weak and these these uh, laminated pieces were becoming delaminated I glue see look the glue still drying I I coated the entire thing with wood glue and there's a little bit of a gap there I'm gonna fill that in and right now I mean she's she's rigid as heck right now but I want to make this thing kind of indestructible so I glued the heck out of it and uh, when I glued that seam I put extra glue over the top of it and I brought it way out to here and way up to there <clears throat> same thing over here you can kind of maybe pick up how where the glue starts goes all over the place so glued underneath, in between, underneath here and there, all the way around the corner, all the way, all over the place, so she won't fall apart. The other thing I noticed here, the uh, um, board's a little warped, see how it starts to go up, so I think I'm going to uh, end up putting a, uh, some sort of frame underneath of it, maybe a 2x4 frame all the way around, I don't know. Work in progress, we'll see what happens. But there it is. Anyway, that's 
the uh, that's the ball mill I made. Thanks for watching, and uh, when I get it all said and done, I'll uh, I'll post a full video of, of it again with the uh, with it in, in completed state or completed. Uh, um, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, that's it. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and rate the video, leave a comment, or even a video response. In the description down below, you'll find a, a link that will take you to the website, Logic Group LLC. From the website, you'll be able to go to the forum page uh, and engage in conversation on different topics. You'll be able to link into the Facebook page, Logic Group's Facebook page. You'll, uh, you'll find a tab that will that'll take you right back to uh, the YouTube channel. You'll find uh, email and contact us. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, uh, or suggestions, you can leave them on any of those different platforms. And we'll, uh, we'll engage in, in that particular topic and, and open it up for dis discussion and, and uh, dissect it. Uh, right here is a QR code, so if you got your phone handy, go ahead and snap that. That'll take you right to the website as well. Uh, the website is is mobile friendly, so uh, you can use it on your on your phone as well. Um, all right. So anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, and again, check back, and we'll have lots of videos to come with lots of good information and content in it. Don't forget to subscribe and and rate the video down below. Those things really help. All right, you guys, thanks, and have a great day.